Now, we're getting him on very, very soon, but, but, and we won't have time to play the whole clip. It's just so amazing. It's a four and a half minute clip. It's up on InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. This guy was in the inside, witnessed it all. The first part of the newscast, they don't even cover that. He also talks about the common sense of how it was impossible the way he say he, uh, he got assassinated. The cover-up he witnessed. I mean, this is bombshell. This is bombshell what this FBI agent is saying. Let's play part of this clip going to break, and I'll come back and comment on it. Here it is. 63. President John F. Kennedy is gunned down in Dallas. Officially, Lee Harvey Oswald fired the fatal shots from the Texas Book Depository. But now, a local man's got history in the crosshairs. Did Lee Harvey Oswald kill President John F. Kennedy? No. Had nothing to do with it. Former FBI agent Don Adams from Summit County says thousands of National Archives prove... The Warren Commission was, was nothing but a bunch of liars. The Korean War veteran entered the FBI September 1962. He was assigned to Thomasville, Georgia, where he began investigating a man named Joseph Adams Miltier. He was reported to be one of the most violent men in the country. A friend of Miltier's, William Somerset, who was also an FBI informant, said Miltier was threatening JFK. And Somerset was telling them that he was really radical and he was saying bad things about what they wanted to do to Kennedy. Agent Adams completed the Miltier investigation and a week later, shots rang out in Dallas. It appears as though something has happened in the motorcade route. It, it devastated me, and I thought to myself, what did I do wrong? His boss said, find Miltier. I said goodbye to my partner. He never said a word to me about anything about Miltier, that he knew him or anything. Many years later, Don learned that agents contacted his partner, who told them Miltier was in Georgia, essentially eliminating him as a suspect. And that shocked me when I saw that document because I knew it was an outright lie. Then, when Adams finally captured Miltier days later, he says his supervisor prohibited him from conducting a proper interrogation. Miltier was released and Agent Adams transferred. And where did I go but to Dallas, Texas? He remembers seeing the Zabruder film for the very first time. And all of a sudden I saw the president go like this with his hands. And I said, Hal, I said, he was shot in the, he was shot in the throat. The minute that you have a frontal shot, Oswald can't be the shooter because this came from a grassy knoll. And Oswald was in Texas School Book Depository. The Warren Commission said three shots were fired, but Don counted 11. Uh, the agent said to me, Don, uh, be careful what you say and how you say it because the Warren Commission is here and they've already ruled that Oswald is the shooter and there were no shots from the front. The Army veteran wondered how Oswald fired three shots in seven and a half seconds. All right, seconds folks, we're about to come back. Action rifle. The key part is coming up. We're going to finish this clip when we come back because it really gets amazing on the other side. And this all concurs with our research. Stay with us. Okay, final segment, ladies and gentlemen, for this hour. We've got some very surprising guests tomorrow. I'll just leave it at that. Retired FBI agent says Oswald didn't kill Kennedy, WJW Television. A retired FBI agent from Summit County is making claims regarding the assassination of President John F. Kennedy that go beyond conspiracy theories. It's not been conspiracy, it's been fact. Congress found in 79 that it was a conspiracy. Don Adams, speaking clearly and concisely when describing the events of November 22, 63, the day President Kennedy was killed, and he doesn't waver from his position that Lee Harvey Oswald did not kill President John F. Kennedy in Dallas. In fact, says Adams, he says he has the FBI documents to prove it. Let's finish up with this clip. Here it is. Say it because the Warren Commission is here, and they've already ruled that Oswald is the shooter, and there were no shots from the front. The Army veteran wondered how Oswald fired three shots in seven and a half seconds from a bolt-action rifle. I'm going to tell you something right now, guys. There's no way in the world Oswald shot that weapon. And boy, I mean, I was really cautioned then. Don eventually retired from the FBI, never thinking twice about Miltier, until 1992, when he saw a picture in this book, which he says positively places Miltier in Dallas the day of the shooting. Joseph Adams Miltier looking at the presidential car moments before the president was killed. 
At the National Archives and Records Administration, Don found many reports missing or manipulated, including his file on Miltier from 63. Everything that I had done was gone. Everything was gone. But the most startling discovery was a tape recording captured by Miami intelligence officers November 9, 1963, just weeks before Dallas. Miltier is talking to the informant, William Somerset. The FBI headquarters and Secret Service both had that tape within days. I should have stopped the president from traveling instantly. But they didn't. And he says he was jubilant. Bragging to Somerset. You thought I was kidding when I said he would be killed from a window with a high-powered rifle. Despite all of that, Miltier was never even mentioned in the Warren Commission report. When Hoover set up the propaganda in the FBI, don't embarrass the FBI. That was his rules. And you didn't. So they ordered everything put into the archives and to be forgotten about it. But Don can't forget and hopes something is done before the truth is buried forever. I mean, when we die off, when we're gone, there's not going to be anybody who's going to sit here and tell you these things. I hope the truth gets told, whatever it is. In All right, County, folks. Suzanne Stratford, Fox 8 News. We're going to be interviewing him very soon, but the issue is... We have the deathbed confession of E. Howard Hunt, CIA black op commander for assassination of leaders worldwide. And he it had come out in court hearings before, was involved in Dallas. He denied it. But when he went public, it was planned in Miami. They were going to kill him in Chicago. A black Secret Service agent blew the whistle so they couldn't do it. They killed him in Dallas. And I've interviewed the widow uh, the uh, well, they were all basically common law married, but the mistress, longtime mistress um, of LBJ, who was on record to be her, her uh, his um, mistress. Point is, I always at the end of the show try to frustratedly get all this data out, and then I kind of seize up because there's so much of it. The point is, they killed him dead in a hammer. They did it in plain view. I mean, they shot him from the front. You can see the blood and him shot in the neck. Then they blow the top of his head off. And the Dallas doctor said he'd been shot in the neck. And all the witnesses saw the plumes of smoke. Then they killed the witnesses that saw the men at the grassy knoll with the rifles. Boom, boom, boom. We even know who all the assassins were that were there. Corsican hitmen, you name it, because the CIA likes to be able to deny. They had hitmen, they had mafia, they had white supremacists, they had anti-communists, they had hit teams everywhere, and the U.S. Army down the street ready to kill Kennedy if he got away.